Hi everyone, our subject today is precocious puberty in female. Basics. Precocious puberty is defined by the onset of secondary sexual characteristics before the age of 8 years in Giel. The lower limits of normal puberty may be age 6 for blacks and 7 for whites. Isosexual puberty occurs because of normal female sex steroids. Heterosexual development is due to male sex steroid. Early pupiarchy is the isolated development of a pupic or axillary hair. Premature telarchy is the isolated development of the breast with no other secondary sexual characteristics. History. History of growth pattern, chronological development of the secondary sex characteristics, exposure to exogenous sex steroid like creams, lotions, meats, anabolic steroid, possible ambiguous genitalia, and family history of early pubertal development may be helpful. Evidence of CNS disease such as behavioral or emotional changes head trauma, hydrocephalus, headache, and vision problems should be assessed. Family history of early puberty, menarche before the age of 10 years, or hyperadrenogenic disorder like congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Examination, skin changes such as cafe or late spots may indicate Macune Albright syndrome, Vaginal mucosal changes, enlargement of labia minora, and tenor staging of the pubic hair and breast should be assessed. Recto abdominal examination may indicate ovarian or abdominal masses. Viralization is indicated by excessive hirsutism, clitoromegaly, deepening voice, acne, and muscle development. Palpation of the breast tissue or breast buds can be difficult due to adiposity. How to approach to a female with a precocious puberty after performing history and physical examination? Is it heterosexual uh, like a virilization, like hirsutism? It will be discussed in another lecture. Uh, or it is isosexual. Patient need bone age. If it is normal bone age and growth, this is premature pupiarchy. Uh, patient needs 17 hydroxyprogesterone, testosterone, dihydroepiandrosterone sulfate, and estradiol level. If there is normal uh, dihydroepiandrosterone sulfate or uh, moderately increased with bone age equal to chronological age, this is premature adrenarchy or idiopathic pupiarchy. If 17 hydroxyprogesterone increased bone age more than chronological age, this is congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Is there increase in dehias or testosterone bone age more than chronological age? Patient needs CT scan. This is ovarian tumor, adrenal tumor, exogenous uh, androgen like uh, anabolic steroid or Macune Albright syndrome. Or, uh, as we mentioned, estradiol level uh, prepubertal. This is premature telarchy uh, or estradiol increase. Patient need uh, imaging study. Uh, differential diagnosis, ovarian tumor, adrenocortical tumor, autonomous functional ovarian cyst, Macune Albright syndrome, or exogenous estrogen. If the bone age delayed, delayed bone age and growth, patient need TSH and T4. This is prolonged and treated hypothyroidism. This is the only case of delayed bone age. In uh, if advanced bone age, patient need LH and FSH, gonadotropin releasing uh, hormone stimulation test. If it is suppressed, which means uh, gonadotropin independent precocious puberty, which is peripheral precocious puberty, as we mentioned here, estradiol level, and uh, as we mentioned here. Or if it is elevated uh, LH, 
this is gonadotropin dependent uh, precocious puberty, central precocious puberty, patient need brain MRI. If it is abnormal, abnormal MRI finding, could be tumor, hamartoma, structural malformation, CNS infection, trauma, radiation. If it is a normal brain MRI finding, this is could be idiopathic, uh, idiopathic precocious puberty, prolonged exposure to elevated uh, sex steroid, Macune Albright syndrome, and uh, late treatment of congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Normal pubertal development in girls. Breast development, tilarchy, range from 8 year to 15 year. Acceleration of growth, 8 to 15. Pupic hair appearance, pupiarchy, 9 to 15. Minarchy, 10 to 16 year. Tenor stage in female. Uh, stage 1, breast prepubertal, pubic hair, no pubic hair, no axillary hair. Stage 2, uh, breast uh, development, appearance of breast buds and uh, slight areolar enlargement. Pubic hair, minimally pigmented hair on labia. Axillary, few axillary hair. Stage 3, further enlargement of breast and areola. Uh, pubic hair darker, coarser, and curled hair extending to monus pupus. Axillary adult pattern. Stage 4 uh, Areola and nipple papillae form a secondary mound above the level of the breast. Pubic hair thicker but not yet adult pattern. Stage 5 Areola parts of a breast contour, projection of nipple only. Uh, pubic hair, adult distribution extending to medial surface of the thigh. Top tips. Central precocious puberty is idiopathic in 90% of girls, but only 10% in boys. Hence, careful search for a cause including neurological imaging is warranted in boys and girls less than 6 years of age. Serum luteinizing hormone level Pooled sample is the best screening test for central precocious puberty. Gonadotropin releasing hormone stimulation test is confirmatory. Isolated telarchy is characterized by normal growth age appropriate skeletal maturation, prepubertal uterus and ovaries, and isolated FSH elevation with the prepubertal LH level. Peripheral precocious puberty is either an isolated breast development, precocious telarchy, or a sexual hair appearance, precocious adrenarchy, without other signs of puberty occurring before the age of 8 years in girls and 9 years in boys. Peripheral precocious puberty is usually benign and non-progressive. Onset younger than 3 years is frequently associated with the regression over 1 to 3 years. Later, onset usually progresses slowly as precocious puberty. In precocious telarchy, the nipple is characteristically pale, immature, thin, and transparent. In precocious puberty, the nipple is mature and prominent with dark areola in indicating high circulating estrogens. Precocious puberty may have adverse effect on social behaviors and psychological development. Early growth spurt causes rapid bone maturation, resulting in early epiphyseal fusion and short stature. Low dose radiation of the brain may induce precocious puberty in girls. High dose radiation may induce precocious puberty in both sexes. Precocious puberty may put girls at risk of sexual abuse and psychological trauma from teasing and bullying. A child with precocious uh, telarchy and or uh, adrenarchy still need careful evaluation as these cannot often be easily definitively definitely differentiated from true precocious puberty. 
Central organadotropin-dependent precocious puberty is due to early activation of the normal physiological pubertal development. There is increased FSH and LH acceleration of the growth, breast development, enlargement of the labia minora, vaginal mucosal changes with the enlargement of the ovaries and uterus, and pubertal level of estrogen. Bone age is advanced beyond the height age and chronological age. Childhood obesity has been associated with the early puberty in girls and has been noted in children adopted from developing countries. Precocious puberty in females is often idiopathic, but a CNS disease should be considered. Imaging of the head preferably using MRI is imperative in addition to careful neurological and vision examination. Hypothalamic hamartoma are the most common brain lesion causing central precocious puberty and may be associated with seizure. Other CNS lesion causing central gonadotropin dependent precocious puberty usually involves the hypothalamus. These include post-encephalitic scar, tuberculous meningitis, tuberculous sclerosis, severe head trauma, and hydrocephalus, with or without associated myelomeningocele. Neoplasms causing precocious puberty include astrocytomas, ependymomas, and optic tract tumors, including optic gliomas in children with neurofibromatosis type 1. Pineal or hypothalamic germinomas can cause central precocious puberty by secreting human chorionogonadotropin, HCG, which stimulate the LH receptors in the lighting cells of the testes. Macune-Albright syndrome is a rare condition and is usually common in girls than in boys. Affected girls tend to have increased estrogen level and presents with the triad, it presents with a triad of peripheral precocious puberty, caffeolate skin pigmentation, and fibrous dysplasia of bone. Vaginal bleeding often precedes significant breast development. A skeletal survey or a technetium bone scan may identify polyostotic fibrous dysplasia. Prolonged exposure to elevated level of sex steroid may cause accelerated growth and skeletal maturation. Although the precocious puberty is typically peripheral gonadotropin independent, a secondary central gonadotropin dependent component may develop also because of prolonged exposure to sex steroid. This secondary central precocious puberty may also be seen in late treatment of congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Prolonged and treated hypothyroidism may cause precocious puberty, in which a case the bone age is delayed, TSH levels are elevated and prolactin levels are mildly elevated. Although serum FSH is low and LH is usually undetectable, the elevated TSH appears to stimulate the FSH receptors with no corresponding LH effects. Girls may have early breast development, galactoria, and recurrent menstrual bleeding. Precocious puberty associated with the hypothyroidism behaves as an incomplete form of central precocious puberty. If the FSH and LH level are prepubertal the, and estradiol level are elevated to pubertal level, abdominal pelvic imaging should be considered to exclude estrogen secreting ovarian or adrenocortical tumors. In mo the most common ovarian tumor causing precocious puberty is a granulosa cell tumor. Autonomous ovarian follicular cysts are most common estrogen secreting masses. Plasma estradiol levels fluctuate with the size of the cyst. 
This may also result in premature telarchy. Exogenous sorts of estrogen include oral contraceptive pills and estrogen containing tonics, lotion, and creams. Contamination of the meats has been reported. Benign premature telarchy is unilateral or bilateral breast enlargement, usually before the age 2 years and resolving within 6 months to 6 years. No other signs of estrogenization are present. Plasma estrogen level may be normal to slightly elevated. Laboratory studies are usually not indicated for premature telarchy. Clinical follow-up is adequate to detect progression to precocious puberty or onset of virilization. Regression followed by recurrence may indicate autonomous ovarian follicular cyst. Occurrence in children 3 years and older should propose further evaluation. Premature adrenarchy is the most common form of isolated precocious puberty with an early increase in uh, adrenal androgens. In addition to bone age, it is reasonable to obtain a 17-hydroxyprogesterone level to detect mild congenital adrenal hyperplasia due to 21-hydroxylase deficiency. Bone age is usually consistent with the chronological age in premature adrenarchy. Estradiol and gonadotropin level are prepubertal and dihydroepiandrosterone sulfate dehias may be moderately elevated, appropriate for stage 2 pubic hair. Girls with the premature adrenarchy are at uh, increased risk for hyperandrogenism and polycystic ovary syndrome. Adiopathic premature pubarchy may be due to hypersensitivity of sexual hair follicles to androgens. If bone age is advanced or sign of virilization are present, further testing is needed. Virilization requires evaluation for uh, androgen producing adrenal or ovarian tumors, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, or exogenous adrenogen, uh, androgen exposures, particularly in female athletes. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia is screened for by an early morning 17 hydroxyprogesterone level. Level below 200 nanogram per deciliter are normal. Level above 800, eight, uh, sorry, 1800, uh, 800 are diagnostic of 21 hydroxylase deficiency, which is most common form of congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Bone age is greater than the chronological age. Deficiency of 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase may also result in precocious pupiarchy. Elevation of dihydroepiandrosterone sulfate above 700 or testosterone above 200 warrant imaging for adrenal or ovarian tumors. Bone age is usually greater than chronological age. Thank you for your listening.